The rock star Phil Lillett, the 36-year-old former Thin Lizzy frontman, died 10 years, 10 days after a drinks and drugs binge at his home in England. Today, his mother Philomena has been remembering a star who left a great musical legacy. I can't believe it's 20 years. From the moment I lost him, I mean, what well, I died with him for a number of years until I learned to cope with my grief. I remember when they first put him in my arms, I looked at his big, big brown eyes and I melted and like every mother kissed in the back of their necks a little. A gift from God, it certainly wasn't from me or from his father. I remember Darlene years when the two of us had nothing and I'd, I'd been put in a workhouse and battered and beaten and spat on because he was uh, a black illegitimate child. I would have loved him to have seen Philip with uh, graying hair, but that wasn't to be. I'm there to fight for him. I won't let nobody call him names. His last words to me were, merciful Jesus. What have I done to you? People used to just talk about, oh, Phil Lyon, he died of drugs, Phil Lyon at this, that, the other. And um, my grief was heavy then, and I, I couldn't argue back. But now, I, uh, I picked them on it. I told them, never mind what he died of. It's what he left us, the legacy he left us, and the amount of people who love him. And he was the greatest rock and roll star in the world. Oh,